Hello, Cancer. Let's look at your weekly tarot reading. Let's get the overall energy. Take a look at you. Any obstacles? Who or what's coming towards you? Spirit advice and the outcome. You have the Seven of Cups. You're almost there. All right. You are almost there. Seven of Cups. All right. Can also give an energy of uncertainty. All right. You've been through some unfulfilling relationships and moments in your life and the seven of cups is you know you've got choices here you have a lot of choices and um you can you know you may feel a little uncertain about what to do but that card is reminding you that you have a lot more options than you than you realize so open up to it this week we have the ten of pentacles for you but abundance and prosperity, uh, maybe finances, maybe families on your mind, maybe being in a family is on your mind, long-term commitment. Um, it takes time, you know, to build that and to get there, but maybe you've been working on it, but that's what's on your mind and that's what you want. And we have the seven of cups. So the seven of cups can also say, you know, are you, are you focusing on the right things? Are you um, fantasizing? Are you wishful thinking? Are you... Um, daydreaming constantly but not bringing your re your dreams down to reality you want the ten of pentacles but you have a seven of cups energy so there's some sort of question there's some sort of ch uh, choice that needs to be made all right um, maybe you're surprised by how something's turning out or maybe there's an opportunity this week for you to move forward and that could surprise you and you might be like this is like a dream come true or is this too good to be true all right so keep that in mind that that could be an energy this week of some things maybe seeming that's like a pisces energy are, are things too uh, is this true is this is this wishful thinking or is this fantasy you know am i am i ignoring the red flags or is this really the real deal so what's your obstacle you got the star card all right the star card here as your obstacle not only tells me that you're afraid to surrender and let God or let universe take over. You're, you, the star card shows me that you've been through so much and you've been through so much healing. And it's about trusting now in your intuition. It's about following your truth and following your North Star and not being afraid to move forward and allow things to come to you. Your manifestations can come to you, but only you, your fears could block you or hold you back. So there's doubt here and things manifesting for you, but you've got the seven of cups and you have the star card. Are you not in alignment or you don't think that you're in alignment? Something could be coming in for this week for you that is guiding you, but you've got to follow your, your intuition. You've got to follow your North Star. You have to follow what it is you truly desire and trust and let go and know that it's going to work out for you. When I see the Star card as the obstacle, it shows me that if things are too tough for you this week, or if something's not going easy, then you're not in alignment. Things are meant to go easy for you. If you lack faith in a situation and you have the Seven of Cups energy, could it be that you're living in your dreams and you're fantasizing and you're trying to make something seem like it's something, but it's not? Are you trying to create um, something in your life that's not really what it's, what it is? Are you connecting to somebody and you're not sure that this is the person you want to be with? Are you working somewhere and not sure that you're following your higher self, your soul's purpose? The star card is asking you this week to reflect and ask yourself, am I in alignment with my true soul's purpose? What's coming towards you? I've got the two of pentacles. All right. You may be pulled a little bit this week. A lot going on. But the two of pentacles says, you can do this. And I love this card here because it looks like her ancestors here are in the back. Her ancestors standing behind her it's like this is a pattern or you're stepping out of old traditions with that card you have the knowledge 
and the wisdom and also the skills to create balance in your life. And I feel like for some of you, your ancestors are around you with the star card helping you bring balance into your life. That is wild. These cards are new for me. And they're asking you to trust that you're on the, you, ha you have the strength and the wisdom of your ancestors. The two of pentacles is bringing balance into your life, asking you to prioritize this week. If you're in the seven of cups energy and you're uncertain, the two of pentacles is saying you may have a lot going on, but you've got to prioritize in what's in alignment with you. What is really fulfilling you? Don't ignore your inner guidance, your inner wisdom, when you know that you can handle whatever is coming your way. If some of you are thinking about starting a business or thinking about, you know, um, your life commitment and work, and is it coming in? The Two of Pentacles is here to remind you that, yes, you just got to put the work in and you got to balance your priorities. So there could be um, a few things, a lot going on this week. And you may feel a little discouraged with that star card as an obstacle. But if you're in alignment with your true soul's purpose, you're being guided and you've got this. And it's just about prioritizing and taking the things off your plate that you know are not, are not necessary. Spirit is saying here, the Seven of Pentacles, it's time to reevaluate. And again, I'm not, I don't want to repeat the message, but it's time to reevaluate re your priorities. It's no longer wish, wishful thinking. It's no longer fantasizing. It's trusting in the universe and taking steps with the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is asking you to take steps. The Seven of Pentacles, Spirit is saying, I'm sorry about the noise outside, but I need the window open. The, see, the Seven of Pentacles is like that. It's like a roadblock. It's like, oh, a pause. It's like, or something that disrupts, right? There's another way around it. Seven of Pentacles is showing up for you so that you reevaluate your life, you reevaluate your situation. There's another way around. What you've put in is not a waste. Seven of Pentacles says you will get the return of your investment, but you're taking on too much and you may not be prioritizing. So the Seven of Pentacles is just, there's a, there's a change coming your way this week. And it might be hard for you to make change but in order to get to the Eight of Pentacles, it's about balancing out and weighing out the pros and cons in your life, weighing out the people in your life, weighing out the responsibilities in your life. And the Seven of Pentacles is saying that this pause is not a setback. This pause is giving you a chance to reevaluate. That is it. The outcome, look at this, Cancer. The outcome for the week is the Chariot card. Is asking you to stay focused and disciplined. The chariot card is your card. Victory. It's showing you moving on and moving fast. You may have a couple bumps in the road, but you will overcome this obstacle. Maybe you and another person, a partner. You might not, you might bump heads. You might not always see eye to eye, like it's the same thing, but you guys together, if it's with somebody, will make it through, whatever it is. If there's um, a reevaluating in a love relationship, but either way, the chariot card is asking you to stay focused. The outcome of this week is victory. And whatever is stagnant, the seven of pentacles this week, is just for you to reevaluate and reprioritize. The chariot card is saying that you're on your way. You're on the right direction. Stay in alignment with your true soul's purpose. And you'll see that things move pretty fast this week. And you overcome and move forward. All right? The chariot can be the one of the fastest moving um, cards in the, in the, in the tarot. All right, let's see anything else coming towards you and then I'll do Aries through Pisces. I see Lily, spiritual love coming towards you. March. All right, so something big could have happened or, or a decision or in March. And spiritual love in the star card is telling me that you're in alignment the whatever whatever happened in March could have been big for some of you. It is moving you towards spiritual love. If this is happening, March can also be um, 
uh, Taurus, March, April, April is um, Aries, Taurus, right? Um, energy. So a birth of something, something happened in March. And then we have lilies could be um, a synchronicity for you this week. I do get a lot with like your ancestors this week. You may be communicating with them this week. But spiritual love could be tapping into spiritual love with yourself. And I got the May card too. So May could be really important month. A lot happened in May as well. May and March. Maybe what's happening is March and May um, really was significant for you. And you fi you're finding yourself in the Seven of Pentacles energy and the Seven of Cups energy, which is talking a little bit about confusion because things are stalling or slowing out or things are changing for you. And this reading is just asking you to stay in alignment with what it is that um, made you make these changes or whatever has come in has happened for the right reasons. All right, let's see Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces. Aries through Pisces. Aries, you deserve better than me. Taurus, I have sexual fantasies about you. Gemini, I still have growing to do. Cancer, soulmate. Leo, I feel terrible for hurting you. Virgo is reminiscent. Libra, a story isn't over yet. Scorpio, I don't know what I want. Sagittarius, there was someone interfering in our relationship. Capricorn, there is a third party. Aquarius, I'm so sorry. And Pisces, you are the love of my life. All right, I love you guys. Please like and subscribe. Make sure to hit your notifications if you want to be a part of all the episodes coming up. I have a lot of people coming on my channel, bringing free content. I have human design. I have astrologers coming on um, and so forth. It's all free content. Um, and so by hitting that like and subscribe, you'll let me know that you're enjoying it. And then I'll keep, the, I'll keep it rolling. I'll keep it coming. All right. Love you guys. Take care.